All right, welcome back. Another edition of Hot Wheels Madness. Let's dive right in, take a look at the bracket. And we're going to be going up to the northeast corner up here, northeast bracket. Uh, we got six races left. That'll give us our final eight cards for the round of 32. Let's look a little closer. We've got Giselle McCall driving the smoked pork shoulder, the number 47, against the Quarren Dream, number 18, from Scott Gilbert. And they say she drives that smoked pork shoulder like she's got one at home in the oven. So we'll see how that goes. The bottom two races will be the 26 car, Eric Bechtel. But will there be chicks there against Thelma from Bridget Trimmer in the number 39? Here we go. Race number 11 is going to be the 18 car, the Quarren Dream, the Diaper Dragger. Against Giselle McCall in the smoked pork shoulder, they say she drives like she's got one at home in the oven. All right, Scott in the A lane, Giselle in the B, and here we go. They're off. Nice, fast start from the smoke pork shoulder. And you know what they say is that she drives like she's got to get home to take one out of the oven. There we go. Four and a tenth. Very fast, quick win for Giselle McCall. Race number two. Here we go. Quarren Dream ahead into the first turn. And then on the under over, Giselle takes the lead and not going to give it back. That's all she wrote. The Quarren Dream is dead very fast times from the smoked pork shoulder. Race number 12. Let's take a look at our drivers. Eric Beck's money Bechtel driving. But will there be chicks there against the 39 car Thelma from Bridget Trimmer starting in the A lane on the outside. Let's take a look. Very quick start from Eric Money Bechtel taking that corner very fast. Just Let's just see. He's ahead, but oh, That'll do. a little bit too little, too late on the finish there from Bridget Trimmer. And she's going to be down 1 0. On to heat number two. Let's take a look. Very quick start from Thelma. Takes the first corner in the lead, but gives it up right before turn number two to Money Bechtel. He's going to roll right in. Two victories to zero. Let's take a look at what happened here in our newest segment, The Breakdown. Right, so we'll start in Heat 2, coming into turn 1, Thelma's way ahead. She takes this turn and then goes uphill and gives up the lead to Eric, who takes it into the inside of turn 2, wins that race handily. As you can see, he's cornering about 20% faster, using that momentum in the uphill, and he just never gives it back. That's The Breakdown. So it's going to be... The 47 car, the smoked pork shoulder from Giselle McCall against the 26 car, but will there be chicks there from Eric Bex Money Bechtel in the round of 32. And, you know, they say Giselle drives that smoked pork shoulder like she's got to get home to get one out of the oven. So I think this is going to be a very intense matchup, certainly one I'm looking forward to in the round of 32. And let's take a bigger look at the bracket here. We're about, we're halfway through, not about, we're halfway through. Let's move on to our next four racers. Take a little closer look. The number 30 car, a little mud on the tires from driver Tom Gaffney. Interesting car. We'll take another look later. Versus I get pulled over a lot in this from driver Sarah Stroll. And then the 43 car, I'll see you in outer space from Michelle Vindigny, is going to be racing against Nolan's My Hood is Plastic, My Heart steal in their race all right race number 13 let's get into it i get pulled over a lot in this 32 grams against a heavy car from tom gaffney the 36 gram i get a little mud on the tires tom on the outside here all right let's get down to it all right quick start from both of these cars tom takes the lead on the outside not a good sign for sarah He's never going to give it back. A very fast four seconds, two hundreds, one zero, mud on the tires. Heat number two. Let's get into it. Once again, very fast start from Tom. He's on the tough lane now, but he's not going to give it up very quick. He's going to be tough to be easily done for a little mud on the tires. Race number 14. Here we go. I'll see you in outer space, Michelle versus My Hood is Plastic, My Heart Steel from Nolan McCall, who's on the inside. He's on the B track to start. Let's get into heat number one. 
quick start from both of these racers. Michelle quickly takes the lead, and Nolan just can't handle that uphill. That's where he loses it. Four and a half second heat. Nolan's going to have a pretty tough time to hang in with a very fast outer space car from Michelle Vindigny. Here she goes. She's way ahead. Nolan's eating dust way back on Earth somewhere. That's all she wrote. Let's take a look at the Amen corner cam here. And as you can see, Nolan's already almost a full half second behind going into the second turn. That thing was over there. All right, here we go. We've got uh, our next matchup here. It's going to be a little mud on the tires from the number 30 car against I'll See You in Outer Space from driver Michelle Vindigny. Let's be honest, this is going to be one of the best matchups of the round of 32, I think. Those was two very fast cars. We're going to see what happens. Let's take a look at the bigger bracket here. And there we go. Take a look at our last four races here. And who do we have up? That's going to be Chris Borgia in the right this way, Mr. Galikonokis, versus the 1877 Cars for Kids from AK Curtain. And then the Unicorn Princess Party is going to take on I've Seen the Other Side and It's Glorious from Nina ba Bechtel. That's going to be the Toddler Battle to close us out. Race number 15, let's get into it. There you go, 1877 Cars for Kids. It's AK's favorite charity against Right This Way, Mr. Galikonokis. He's going to be on the B track. Driver Chris Borgia, veteran of this tournament. Let's see how he does it. Very fast car into the first. Take another look at what happened here, and he's just very fast, very heavy, very disqualified. Heat number two will take another look. Here we go, heat number two. Very fast start once again, but I think at this point we might know where this is headed. It's clear that weight is an advantage only to a certain point. And as we get a look at this third heat, you can see him popping up at every turn juncture. So really it was just a matter of time before he lost control off the track. That's all she wrote. AK basically untested at this point since right this way, Mr. Glickenokis is DQ'd. Here we go, last race of the day, the 59 car from Nina Bechtel against Rosalie McCall Fury's Unicorn Princess Party pickup. She'll be on the inside to start. Here we go. Nice quick start from the Unicorn Princess Party. And there goes Nina off into the stratosphere. Here we go. Heat number two. Got Nina on the inside this time. And she's off to a very quick start. A lot of promise here. And oh no, she falls into Rosalie's lane. Nearly an interference violation. She's really going to need to bear down in this third heat if she has any chance of winning, but we'll see. There's been two DQs before, and they've come back to win it, so let's see how it goes here. Real aggressive start from both drivers. Unicorn Princess Party takes the first turn. Second turn, she's way ahead, and there it goes. Nina. You know, young driver, a lot of potential in her future. And she just very aggressive onto turn number two, trying to make up the ground. Not going to happen. She's DQ'd. The Unicorn Princess Party advances to face the also untested 1877 Cars for Kids in the round of 32. So that's it. Northeast bracket is locked in. Let's take a look at the bigger bracket. So Smalls to the Wall will face the Quarantine Bandit in the round of 32. Smalls to the wall, basically untested. The Quarantine Bandit's opponent faded down the stretch, so we're not really sure what potential either of these racers have. The 47 car, the smoked pork shoulder, I think we all know. She drives it like she's got a shoulder in the oven at home she's got to get out. Giselle, very aggressive. Against an equally aggressive and speedy, but will there be chicks there from Eric Bex Money Bechtel? A little mud on the tires. The number 30 car is going to see I'll See You in Outer Space from driver Michelle Vindigny. Both these cars, very fast, very strong showings. I really like this matchup as maybe a potential winner coming out of here for the final four. 
Then the 51 car, the 1877 Cars for Kids, AK Curtain, is going to face the equally untested Unicorn Princess Party from driver Rosalie McCall Fury. Both of these cars have a lot of potential. We just haven't gotten to see it yet. And look, we know a lot of these racers down the straightaway can do very well, but it's the turns that really make or break people. That and actually those two uphill up and overs, that's where we saw Thelma, Bridget Trimmer's white convertible, really lose that race in the breakdown. And I think the same could be said for Nolan McCall's car and also the Quarren Dream from Scott Gilbert. Both of these cars, a lot of potential, very fast down the opening straightaway. As soon as they hit that up and over, they were behind, and they never were able to recapture any of that speed or the lead. Anyway, that's all she wrote for Races 11 through 16, Hot Wheels Madness. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you soon.